How do you create a sense of community when you can't physically gather together? This is the pandemic paradox we're all facing. I mean, at the end of the day, we create communities. So when the pool and the gym and the rec room and the library and even the office is close to our residents, what can we do to help foster social connections without the physical interaction? That's what we're breaking down on this episode of Moments of Genius. In the past few weeks, we've seen some pretty awesome community building examples. There's the amazing video of Balcony Bingo from Ireland. And I'm sure you've seen the inspiring video of community sing-alongs like this one in Italy. <laughs> or maybe you've seen the food trucks in San Antonio that are inviting residents to call in their orders instead of waiting in line, then getting a call back when their food is ready to be picked up. Genius! Games, music, and food, three of the most basic community builders. Here are six creative ideas and four big key principles to help you and your team foster community even when we can't physically be in the same place. Big principle number one. Think about virtual ways to emulate real world encounters. Get creative. For example, all those chance meetings in an elevator or hallway or maybe when they used to say hi at the pool, why not create the virtual version of that? Open up a Zoom room every day at the same time and invite any resident to pop in and say hi with whoever else is there. Maybe you or one of your residents used to host a book club. Why not make it a virtual book club? Not a reader? That's okay. I bet your residents are smart and have tons of knowledge and insight they'd love to share. Have a school teacher living in your community? Maybe they could offer some homeschooling advice. Or maybe you have an Instagram influencer who calls your property home. Ask if they can do a 30 minute virtual table talk on taking awesome photos at home and posting them on Instagram. Get creative. What about mail time? Maybe your residents used to love coming to the office to retrieve their packages and to say hi. Why not turn mail time into something live and fun? Maybe once a week you could open a quarantine care package mystery box live for the entire property and then give the contents of the box to one lucky resident. I mean, that sounds like so much fun. All right, big principle number two. Build out your virtual team and introduce them with their new virtual titles to your community. Here's what I mean. Maybe appoint someone as the community connector. Let's say his name is Josh. Now create a simple survey asking about your residents' interests or needs and skills and their hidden talents or even their willingness to help others. Now invite residents to fill out that form and then Josh, our community connector, can match up residents with similar interests or needs with others. He could make the introductions via email and invite the two new connections to have a 10 minute introduction call on FaceTime or Zoom. Or appoint someone on your team as the tech connection. You know, for some, learning how to use Zoom or even figuring out how to watch movies on their TV can be a real challenge. Setting up a Tech Tuesday live Zoom call or a webinar where residents can ask any tech question will most certainly reduce frustration and increase their sense of support and community. Principle number three, partner, 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 mm -hmm. partner. There are so many local businesses navigating stressful and uncertain times, and they're all looking for ways to connect with potential clients and customers. Yoga instructors, closet organizers, fitness coaches, accountants, hairstylists, nail techs. Call all the local business owners and service providers you know and ask if they'd be willing to do a virtual event for your residents live yoga on Wednesday or ask an accountant anything next Monday, it could be really, really fun. Principle number four. At the end of the day, we need to make sure we do two things. One, stay organized. <laughs> Publish a simple weekly calendar and invite residents to partake in as much or as little as they want. And two, keep your communication in one place. You already have a virtual bulletin board in your resident portal. Use it. Make sure your residents know where to go for the latest information about your property and the fun things you're doing to keep people safe and connected, even when you can't gather. If you've done something genius to foster community during these wild and crazy times, 
let us know. We're always looking for more moments of genius. Remember, it's the things you do now, the kind of community you create today that will pay off in the future. Embrace the opportunity and reap the dividends in the future. Stay safe, stay healthy, get creative, and remember, a little genius goes a long way. And I'll see you next month. In the meantime, I've got to schedule a Zoom call with my hairstylist so she can teach me how to cut my own hair. You think I'm joking? No, I'm serious. I'm gonna do it right now. <laughs> I'm gonna have to text message her or something. I mean, look at this. This is, I mean, ugh.